All right, guys, so today is September 7th, so that means in four days, Maddie's mom is coming into town. But for my day, I got to go into the shop and work on some social media marketing. So uh, let me finish getting ready here. We'll head out. And This is not just another day, numero uno. Okay, so I actually just got done. It took me two and a half hours to finish taking pictures of all the uh, juice inventory. So that's all of this. Those are gonna be posted on the website and the Instagram by moi. And I do everything that I can for people to know that I am very persistent and I'm not gonna stop until I reach that point where I feel content. And I realized recently that there is no point of me feeling perfectly content. I'm always gonna want more and I'm always gonna work for more. But I've got a lot of great ideas on how to improve this place and I've been told by multiple people that I just gotta convey those ideas and I can make them happen, you know? So I'm really excited moving forward with what we got going on here and uh, I'm gonna be spending the next, I guess, what is it, six and a half hours here. Uh, that was really cool, you know? I'm really excited about the fact that my skills are actually being put to use in a real business aspect. All right, so, hi, Timmy. Would you move? I said that I was gonna learn how to ollie, and that's what we're here doing today. I've tried before, but it's never really worked out. So we're gonna see how far I can get off the ground and actually land it. Should I count that one? <sighs> All right, so that is a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna be spending a lot more time doing that now, I guess. Um, not here though, definitely not here. But that is Will's board. Will is my other coworker here. I'm working with Nick today though. He used to be uh, in school for acting and kind of fell off. So I have decided that I'm gonna do my best to get him on this team. I think having some extra, some extra personality in there is gonna be a really good thing. I am appreciating all the support you guys are giving me though so far. Um, I do want you guys to let me know if there's anything you wanna see or anything you want me to do because I feel like these things are getting kind of uh, repetitive and I just need to get out and do shit. You know, I work a lot and I need to like stop using that as a fucking excuse. But yeah, something I was thinking about today and a realization that I came to is that my body is very particular about how it's gonna react to me waking up at a certain time. I usually wake up every morning around 7.30 and then fell back to sleep. And as soon as I woke back up again, it was like 10 o'clock, and I was like, well, I don't feel like doing shit today. But like this morning, I had work at 10 o'clock, still woke up at 7.30, got myself ready, and I was ready to take on the day, dude. Like I was ready to vlog, do whatever it needed to do, you know? And I think that's what I need to start doing more, is just 
getting up when I wake up. I think that it gives me a lot more energy too when I wake up at that time of day as well. So I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna add that to my daily regimen for the next, uh, I'm gonna give it a, give it a two weeks then when I wake up, when I first wake up, that's when I'm getting up. Uh, so some things that I'm trying to be working on over the next couple months. Uh, let's see, we're working on that app. That's gonna be something that's gonna take a little while to get really started up. And then I'm trying to learn how to skateboard. That's gonna be interesting. We're going to California in October. Uh, let's just roll through this. Uh, Maddie's mom, her aunt, and her best friend's mom are coming out here. And they're gonna be hanging out with her. I'm gonna make sure that she's out there doing some vlogging as well. I wanna get her a part of this. She needs to be a part of this because she's half of this team. She's half of the reason that this even exists. My roommate Scott, family. Here we go. September 22nd, my grandparents are coming out here for six days. And then hopefully if things go as planned, Brendan's gonna be coming out on October 16th, which I'm extremely excited for. That's my dude. Like, I just, I'm ready to help get his mindset in the right place, you know, just to be always working on something, make sure that he's not giving up on himself because that's really important. I, I think that, you know, one thing that I missed out on for a long time, but have recently, not so recently, but recently gained is somebody that's very supportive of me and makes it very clear that they want me to chase and achieve my dreams, and that's Maddie. Flying out to go back to Atlanta October 22nd, 30 minutes before we get on our flight to go to LA and then come back from San Francisco on October 31st. So like I said, crazy couple months coming up and while we're in California, I am planning on meeting up with some old friends that have some skate demo shit going on and skydiving, possibly learning to surf, possibly learning to scuba dive, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of time out there, but at the same time, it's not enough time. And I'm really excited to finally figure out where the hell we're moving to and actually come to a decision on that because that gets me from that point when we get back in October to <whistles> May, I wanna say May. Uh, May 1st is probably the goal date we're gonna be moving out there. So that gives me seven months to get all my shit together, six months to get everything together, save up a crap load of money. My game plan for this dude is move out there and not have to work for like a month. I want to take a month off. You know, I want to maybe take the whole month of May off and focus on this. I just need to start networking myself. I met the governor the other day. That was pretty cool. Or he's running to be on the something. But he's a nice guy. He said he wants to bring the voice of the younger kid, of the younger generation, meaning us, <coughs> wants to make them the predominant, the prominent voice in Vail. Fantastic idea, sir. If I were voting, I w you would most definitely have my vote. So, I do these things where like a lot of my time while I'm here is I watch a lot of vlogs and I try and figure out what I want to do, maybe get cool ideas for my videos, you know, think of things that I might like to do. And I was watching through like, I kid you not, I watched like 50 Sean Durr's videos in a day. And I realized he came to Vail for GoPro games. And I was working. Now the other half of that is I met, did, did meet Dave England from Jackass. I'm trying to send good vibes to uh, anybody that's been affected in these Houston floods. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos of the predicaments that these people have been put into. And it's, it's really sad. So. I'm gonna put a link down in the description um, for a nonprofit organization of, they are a bunch of ex-military veterans and ex-firefighters, police officers, so on and so forth that have been really helping out in Houston. So I don't know if you guys wanna go ahead and give them a, give them a look. Like I said, the link's gonna be right down there. Also, I would like to wish everybody that's in Florida right now staying safe. There's another hurricane, if you don't know, that's about to be hitting down there, and that's gonna be a, from what I'm hearing, it's gonna be a six. So, I hope everybody down there stays safe. Um, another shout out, we're gonna send one out to Brendan. I just want you to know that no matter what you're gonna do with your life, you're gonna be successful at it. I've known you long enough that you have the strive to be successful. And I think you just need to take that by the teats and hold on tight because it's going to take you down a bunch of journeys it's going to take you down a lot of paths but eventually you're going to end up where you need to be i gotta tell you one thing and that is persistence i said this in a previous video dude every day you got to be doing something i don't mean 
every day you got to be going to work so you can help support this career. That's not what I mean. I mean you literally need to be doing something every day that's got to do directly with this. Now yes, income is great. It's a great thing. It's the reason why I have a nice camera. It's the reason why I was able to buy a drone. But those aren't the things that you need. And I've kind of come to realize that, that you don't really need to use them in every video, you know. And it's not something that's crucial to making good content. You are. You entirely are everything that you need. Your phone, whatever your phone may be, and you. Because 99% of this whole process is your mind. I'm hoping that you really are serious about coming out here in October and that me and you can have some time to really talk about some shit. And it's gonna be a process, dude, I'm telling you. It's gonna be a process. There's not a day that goes by that I look at the views on these videos and I'm like, well, that's not where it should be. But then I have to remind myself zero, one is better than zero. If I can get you, if you send me one video, one video every week until we move out to California, I might just consider buying you a camera. I might. We'll have to see about that. But if that's what it's going to have to take. Like I said, whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes. This is annoying. Alright. So, fancy football time, guys. It is that time of year again. We're doing the same league that we did last year with uh, Maddie's brother. And fantasy football is always a good time. Uh, let me know who you guys are planning on drafting your leagues and or who have already been drafted. Um, tonight we're doing it at 6 o'clock. So I'm looking forward to that. 